Right guys and welcome back to the channel. You meet me today at Completely Motorcycles, well motorbikes, over in Hinkley, where I have got my hands on the Suzuki Hayabusa. So, let's get geared up and let's take this bad boy out for a test ride. We'll see you on the road after the intro. Oh my god. Well, I'm hoping the camera angle to start off with is okay. But what, oh, the riding position straight away, instantly. Oh my God. I feel like I'm sat on the front wheel. With the bars are so close in to get each other. Got a little open stretch of road. Let's catch up to that. I've not been on a bike that has had that much acceleration in a very, very long time. Oh, those brakes. So I believe they're Brembo brakes all around. It's gonna take a little bit getting used to, I think. I feel like I'm sat really, I, I can't explain it. Obviously sitting on an adventure touring style bike, you're upright, your arms are out. I feel like I'm really tucked up. And really uncomfortable at the minute, but I think that'll just be something I need to get used to. So let's go do a little bit of town riding. Wow, it's very low as well to the ground. Obviously coming off the Africa Twin, I'm so used to being on the balls of my feet, whereas I can easily flat foot this. Must remember it does not have self cancelling indicators. Oh. Those Akropovich exhausts sound amazing. Should try and get squeezed through here. Does it have a quick shifter on it? I do not know, actually. I assume it's got a quick shifter on. We'll soon find out in a second if it does or if it doesn't. Oh! It does have a quick shifter on. First bike I've ever rode with a quick shifter. Feels a bit weird. So, the bike is an inline four, 13, I think it's 1340 or 1360 cc. I'll put that on the screen now. Uh, it is 188 brake horsepower at nine and a half thousand revs. It's got a top speed of about 190 to 195 miles an hour. Stupidly fast. Riding position itself starting to get a little bit used to it but yeah it was very it did feel very rather uncomfortable to start off with one thing i am a little bit unsure of and i've just spoken to the salesman about this is uh, obviously the dash and I th obviously i can understand why suzuki are doing it because they want to keep the retro look and keep the original everything as it is but come on 
it's a 2022 bike we should at least be able to have a digital uh, speedo on there not analog I'm not a fan of analog mirrors yeah you can see out the mirrors not amazing but very very uh, movable very easy to just flick around obviously the nature of the bike it's going around islands perfectly fine so we'll go into a bit of a uh, slower area and see what the controls like and obviously I got to try and go over a couple of bumps uh, perfectly fine to find that neutral position look how far forward you have to lean on this bike I'm used to sitting there like this it's got a double Akropovich exhaust on which sounds absolutely amazing and look at that both feet flat on the floor Oh, I can't believe those brakes though, those brakes are amazing. I believe this is the first bike I've ever ridden as well that's got Brembo brakes. Oh, what an arsehole. probably one of the worst junctions I've ever known this is right so I've come into a 20 mile an hour zone purposely just to see how the bike handles at lower speeds obviously we've got speed bumps around the road is rubbish and I am feeling every single bump I wonder can I put it into mode oh there we go right I'm going to keep the traction control on on five I've put it into the power, most powerfulest mode I will admit though the roads today after all the weather we've had have been absolutely shocking so I don't want to, and obviously it's not my bike so I don't want to do too much on it and we are going away today uh, obviously we are going to Lake Vermwe with the Motorev boys oh my god this 20 mile an hour zone is killing me oh, la, 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 cobbles 20 miles an hour, it's killing me, it's killing me. Boom. Oh. Can you stand up? Oh no, you can't stand up. If you stand up on the, if you try and stand up on this bike, picture this image in your head. Myself in the downward dog pose. Now some of you may like that. Some of you may not. Oh, fucking hell. Is it times like that where you wish that your adventure bike was back again? Because it just swallows these bumps up whole. In all honesty though, once you're used to this riding position, so I've just got off the bike for five minutes. I've just got back on and it feels perfectly fine actually. I want to go and see what the bike handles like around the lane. Should have really gone down that lane, really. Let's go hit some lanes and some uh, a few fast roads. That quick shifter is amazing. So smooth, just up, up, up. In all fairness, the downshift is not too bad either. Okay, 
what I have just found is all the wind is just getting pushed onto my shoulders so maybe with an aftermarket uh, screen because all I could feel was just that wind just pure hitting my shoulder there can't really feel anything on the head so much fun So yeah guys, we're off to uh, Lake Vernwee later with the uh, Motor Rev boys. Stay there. And the time we're setting off, I think I'm going to be meeting uh, Motor Vlog UK about four o'clock. The time we were meant to be setting off is there's supposed to be a huge thunderstorm again. Obviously we've been having huge storms well, I say huge, throughout the night and downpours recently. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record on the way over there. This morning was meant to be raining, but luckily it's turned out to be blue skies. So, yeah, bit, bit of a busy day. Squeezed this test ride in this morning. I've actually got like 15 minutes to get back. I should get back there in time. But yeah, we're looking forward to this weekend. It's probably the last weekend that we're going to get to get away. So, right. I'm going to switch off now and then I'll do an end review bit on the bike. So guys, just about to pull back into the uh, industrial estate. I thought I'd just give my final review. Uh, I've just had the bike around some lanes, obviously with the cameras off, so there's no speeding in the video hopefully but oh my god what a machine this is it feels stuck to the road the acceleration rate is unbelievable obviously you gotta think i'm coming off of a bike the africa twin i think it's 98 brake horsepower i'm coming off of that bike to a bike that's nearly double the brake horsepower, a bike that is designed to be flicked and thr through into corners. Is it a decent bike? It is a amazing bike. Would I buy one? Uh, if I wanted maybe to have a blast out every now and then for an hour, yes. To go touring on, not a chance. My lower back at the minute was already starting to hurt. Um, again though, but I'm not used to riding these style of bikes. So potentially I could get used to that. But my honest opinion is, what an amazing bike this is. Absolutely blown away by it the sheer power the handling everything about it apart from not having a digital dash well a digital uh, speedo that is my only downside that quick shifter amazing the downshifter amazing that quick shifter is so smooth And very confidence inspiring as well. Obviously I started off with the bike in B mode. Oh, did you even look mate? No. Yeah, I started off with the bike in B mode and yes, I've left the traction control on, but mainly because I'm not familiar with the bike yet, but I've put it into A mode and it is amazing, such an animal. So, finally, I would just like to give Completely Motorbikes a great big shout out for allowing me to do this today. And who knows, maybe in the near future, I will be back again to potentially do another test ride on another bike.
But for now guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful. And I hope to see you out there. There's my baby. <laughs>